everyone, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make my Santa Claus coaster. He's a cutie pie, isn't he? <laughs> he measures about five inches long, so he's the perfect size coaster for any of your glasses or coffee mugs. He's just perfect for the holiday season. Now this is a free crochet pattern on my blog and you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make your Santa Claus coaster you're going to need some yarn and I used Red Heart Super Saver in these four colors bright red, pink, white and then a little tidbit of blue for the eyes. Now the face you can do in any color that you want. You can use beiges and browns even. It will look really nice. I didn't use the white. I went with a pink because I thought that the white would blend too much in with the beard and the hair portion of the coaster. Now I used acrylic. Medium weight number four. You can also use cotton if you're going to be using these say for glasses of iced tea that are going to sweat the cotton will absorb that. But if you just want to use them for fun or just to protect the wood surface, acrylic is just fine. And you don't need much. You can see not even an ounce of each color. We're going to be stitching with our H hook today. It's a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle for weaving in your ends and for adding the face. And then of course you'll need your scissors. We're going to be starting with our pink yarn and we'll begin in the center and work our way out, finish off with the hat, the pom-pom, and then come back and do the face inside. We're going to begin with our slip knot and we're going to chain four chains. The first three chains will count as one double crochet and then we're going to double crochet nine times in the fourth chain from the hook and that will give us a total of ten double crochets. Yarn over, go in the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and go through the second two. So that's two double crochets because we're counting our chain three as our first double crochet. So I need to stitch eight more. All right, looks like I just need one more. There we go. It will get a little snug and that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we have ten double crochets. We're going to join to the top of that chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. Now, before we do row two, let's talk about the center. Now I don't have a hole in the center of mine this time. Sometimes when you start this way you end up with a hole and you can use the tail of yarn, put it on your needle and just go around those stitches and close up that hole. And it also, if you just go ahead and take care of it now, that's one less thing where you have to weave in an end. So we go around, then I go back the other way. Make sure it's nice and snug down. And it's now it's all clipped off. And that's one end we don't have to worry about. Now for row two, we're going to place two double crochets in each of the 10 double crochets. Our chain three counts as our first. So we'll stitch one, oops, <laughs> one double crochet in the same stitch as that chain three. And then we'll stitch two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. There we go. One and two. So we're stitching two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. 
So that will give us 20 double crochets. We'll place two double crochets in each of the double crochets around and then we'll join back to our chain three. I stitched two double crochets in each of the ten double crochets so now I have twenty double crochets for row two. We're not going to chain three. I joined to the top of my chain three and we're not going to chain three because we're changing colors. We're going to join in our white. There we go. And then we're going to chain three. When changing colors, always do your chain three after. If we would have gone ahead and done our chain three in pink, we would have one stitch in pink and it wouldn't look pretty and neat. All right, now for row three, we're going to stitch a double crochet in the same stitch as our chain three. Then we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next, and then two double crochets in the next. We're stitching one double crochet in the next double crochet, and two double crochets in the next. One, two, one, two, or two, one, two, one. Either way you say that, it's totally fine as long as you're making your stitches correctly. <laughs> All righty, so we're stitching one double crochet in the next, two double crochets in the next. Repeat all the way around till we get back to our chain three. two and one, two and one, all the way around again till we reach our chain three. I've repeated that two and one all the way around. I join to the top of my chain three and this time I'm only going to chain two. This next row, let me grab this other Santa, we're going to be making this ridge. And this is just a nice little edge to help your glass stay put. So what we're going to do is we're going to be stitching a half double crochet in each of the stitches working in the front loops. So let's look at our work here. You can see on the top there is a loop on this side and a loop on this side. The front loop is the loop that's facing you. The back loop is the loop that's facing away. And so we're going to be stitching one half double crochet in each of those front loops. Yarn over go in the front loop only, yarn over, go through all three loops. Yarn over, go through the front loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through all three loops. And like I said, that's just going to give us that little edge to keep our glass where it needs to be for our mug. I mean, it's not going to keep you from, you know, spilling it if you're clumsy like me, but it might help a little bit. <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to continue working all the way around, stitching one half double crochet in each stitch, working in the front loops only. See how that's forming that little edge? I stitched one half double crochet in each stitch around and you should have 30 half double crochets. I'm going to join to the first half double crochet with a slip stitch and then I'm going to chain two. 
And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be working the beard in the back stitches of this row. So the back loops of this row. All right, so we're going to bring that down. We're going to slip stitch in that stitch. We're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to stitch four double crochets in this next stitch. And we're forming the beard now. So one, two, three, four. So we stitched a slip stitch, we skipped the next stitch, and then we stitched four double crochets in the next stitch. We're going to skip the next stitch and stitch a slip stitch. We'll skip the next stitch and then we'll repeat stitching four double crochets in the next stitch. And again, this is all being worked in the back loops. One, two, three, four. Skip the next and stitch a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain two. We're going to turn. We're going to slip stitch in the second double crochet of those four. We'll chain two. And then we're going to place four double crochets in that slip stitch between those two shells. One, two, three, and four. We'll chain two. We'll slip stitch in that third double crochet. Then we'll chain two and join right back down to that first single crochet. There we go. And we'll tie off. All right, and that's how Santa's beard should look. I'm gonna take a minute and weave this end in, and then I'll show you how to add the hat. All right, so here's where we started the beard, and we're gonna count up five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll join our yarn in that back loop of that fifth stitch. And we'll chain three. Now we're going to double crochet in the next 11 stitches. So that'll give us a total of 12. So there's two, three, four, five, six, eight, there's ten, Eleven and twelve. Our chain three counted as a double crochet. We stitched eleven more, so we have twelve double crochets. We're going to chain one and turn. We're going to slip stitch in the second and third stitch. Then we're going to single crochet in the last. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to turn and slip stitch. We'll skip the next one and slip stitch in the next three. One, two, three. 
and then we'll join to that first stitch. All right, and then we'll tie off. And we'll weave that in. My scissors keep getting under my elbow. There we go. We'll go ahead and tie this off. And you'll notice when I began stitching on my hat, I stitched over that tail of yarn. There we go. So we'll go ahead and clip both of those off. All right, and so here's our Santa hat. We skip the first stitch, we slip stitched in the next two, we single crocheted in the next nine, then we chained four, we skipped the first chain and slip stitched in the next three and then joined. And I like the hat to kind of stick out, but you might want to bring it down. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to do the face next and then we'll add that pom pom. We're going to begin with the mustache and we're going to come right up in the center. Make sure you leave a little bit back here for weaving in. It's important when you're making a coaster that you weave in and not make knots or your glasses won't sit flat. All right. So what we're going to do, there's four stitches right here. And so we're going to put a stitch in each one first. And that's just going to help us even it out. All right, so there's the four. And then you can come back in and fill in, you know, a few spots if you want to. It just doesn't matter how many you put. I usually do about six or eight, just FYI. So there's the mustache, and now we're going to do the eyebrows. The eyes are going to be centered about right here. So we're going to go up above and make sure you go through a stitch, not a hole, or you'll lose your eyebrow. All right, then we're going to come over here because we just do one stitch. And we do the same thing over here. All right, so there's the eyebrows and the mustache. We're going to turn this over and we're going to weave those in. Make sure that you stay through the back of the stitches because you don't want any white showing through on the face that we don't want there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and weave this one in. There we go. And clip that off. Now, the next thing we need to do is add the eyes. And I'm going to use just a little bit of this blue. And they're really simple. We're just going to go underneath that eyebrow, making sure again we're going through stitches. And we're just going to make a little slit. Same thing over here. Now remember, if you make them too slanted, Santa might look angry. If you make them too flat, he might not look angry. We don't want Santa looking angry. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. Let's go to the back and weave those in. Because we want these to be able to be tossed in the washer and dryer and we don't lose Santa's face. Although when I'd use mine and I want to wash them, I put them in the top of the dishwasher and then when the dishwasher is done, I just lay them on top of the dryer. That way they're not really agitated, but they do get nice and clean. That's just something I do. Not everybody likes that idea. All right, so now Santa has eyes and a mustache and he needs a nose. So we're going to grab a little bit of red. Again, we're going to put it on our needle. We're going to go right up through that center and we're making his nose red because the story says his nose was round like a cherry, right? So we're going to wrap it three times and we're going to make sure we go through a stitch right above 
because if you go right back in that hole, you might lose your nose. And if you're not fond of the, got some blue showing through there. There we go. If you're not fond of a French knot, you can just do a couple of red stitches. All right. And so what we're going to do here is we're just going to weave it in through some stitches so it's not shown. All right. And then I'm just going to clip those. And the last thing we need to add is Santa's pom-pom. To make the pom-pom, the first thing I do is I just cut a piece of yarn that's about 10 inches long. Then I take my yarn and I wrap it around my two fingers about 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I'm going to cut that and I'm going to lay this right on that string. And I'm going to tie it very tightly. Gonna give it another nice snug pull. All right, now I'm going to cut all those loops. And it's kind of up to you if you want your pom pom to be kind of silly and crazy or if you want to make it super duper even and what I do is I've got all my my craziness here <laughs> cut I bring my fingers bring it forward like that and then I cut it again and yes it will mess up your craft table <laughs> and then I kind of look at it and if I've got some that are kind of out there sticking out I might trim them again And I like it. I think it's ready. Well, I got one I don't like right there. Two. <laughs> it's up to you. All right, let's get some of that out of the way. And then I just take my crochet hook. Actually, I'm going to come from behind. And I grab one of those strings like that. Then I'll come from behind make sure it's not the same spot there we go and I grab the other string there we go all right so there's my pom-pom I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna tie a couple of knots it's okay to tie a knot here because you're not putting a glass on the pom-pom one two and three snug knots all right, and I go ahead and just sort of cut it so it kind of blends in when you turn it over. Got fuzz balls everywhere from my pom pom, and that's how you make our Santa Claus coaster. Mm -hmm. 